A lot of you wanted me to cover the Cara Edwards situation that happened a few days ago, so here we go. So for those of you that don't know, the voice actor of Videl or Young Goten said that Vic Mignogna forced her to dance with him in an affidavit. Here she said she was in a convention at 2008, and then she met Vic Mignogna, they did a panel, and then he grabbed her leg or whatever. And then she said, at a later panel, he seductively grabbed me in a tango dance move. So he's claiming that she forced her to dance with him. However, people found the panel that she was talking about and saw the dance where he quote-unquote forced her to dance with him, and you tell me who's forcing who to dance. So apparently he forced her to dance even though she stuck her hand out first and then even after he grabbed her, she wrapped both of her arms around him. She was obviously very willing to dance with him, not to mention she was smiling and laughing the whole time. Of course she's gonna claim, oh it was nervous laughter. Nah man, you wrapped your arms around his shoulders. Let's be realistic here guys, that's ridiculous to claim that he forced her to dance with him. And then this person who always like condemns Vic said, but she initiated the dance. Yes. Nope, stop right there. You know how she just said yes? Let's look at what Cara Edwards said in her affidavit. He seductively grabbed me in a tango dance move. This suggests that he initiated the dance when it was actually her who initiated the dance. So this is an incorrect statement right here. You can see her discomfort but the fans cheer so she plays along. No, she was not discomforted. Where was the discomfort? I don't see any discomfort. She looks pretty damn satisfied to me. This person's gonna say, oh, the crowd was cheering. That's why she volunteered. Nah, man, she wrapped her arm around him and then she wraps her other arm around him. Look at that. Look. How was that forcing? What? And she made a bunch of tweets about it where she was like, oh, you know, after this, I distanced myself from him. Same thing Monica Real said, right? Even though people found them doing conventions later and stuff, right? But here, here's something that SG Sammy found. Look at this. 2010. By the way, this incident happened in 2008. Florida bound for ShadowCon. Can't wait to see my pals, Kyle and Vic, and hang with the coolest anime fans around. Do you think she was referring to fucking Victoria's Secret? Or do you think that she was referring to Vic? She was talking about Vic, man. They're apparently pals. But then she's gonna claim like, Monica, oh, we have to pretend our relationships are good, whatever. Nah, man, come on. You guys got caught in a lie. Monica got caught in so many lies. Now she has gotten caught in lies. And I just think it's genuinely insane that people try to defend her. And remember, all these little coincidences and lies in her story, or at least severe exaggerations, we're not even done yet, guys. Let's take a look at this. Somebody found that Cara Edwards, to this day, or at least to July 21st, she was following Vic Mignogna, even though she claims that he violated her and he behaved very uncomfortably with her. Hell, she claimed that he was stalking her outside of her hotel room and banging on the door, forcing her to let him in. But still, I'm gonna be following Vic Mignogna. I'm gonna say he's my pal. Very, very ridiculous stuff. And of course, she has another excuse where she's like, oh, I'm not adept at social media. I'm pretty sure most people's grandparents aren't that adept at social media, but they know who they follow or who they friend on Facebook or whatever. These are ridiculous excuses. You are a voice actor. Social media is very important in your job to market yourself. Are you seriously going to sit here and tell me that you didn't know that you were following this person who violated you? It's completely asinine. There's probably some more details I'm missing to this story, but that's pretty much it, man. Cara Edwards is just exaggerating so hard, and I do appreciate the fact that she's usually very kind when she's responding to people. I do not want anyone to go and attack her or anything. I don't want anyone to attack any of these people. I've been saying this from day one. We just need to sit here and create the discussion of what is legitimate criticism of Vic and what isn't. And based on everything I just went through, this is a pretty ridiculous accusation. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.